What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video guys. So today's another episode of the hard game spring ball guys. And we're gonna be doing some inverted rows guys with this top uh, anchor point right here. Uh, you guys may, may not uh, understand how it's gonna work. But you guys will see just in a minute on uh, how I'm able to do the rows. Then we'll do some rear delt rows too to hit the rear delt slash upper back a bit. And uh, then we'll go, we'll do some push stuff. So maybe some push ups, uh, some bench dips. And then legs will probably just do some squats or so if you all do enjoy guys, be sure to like and also subscribe. Let's get right into this workout. So literally guys, all I'm doing is I'm putting this bed sheet through this door anchor that I have on this anchor point my dad put. Um, you don't want to do this on the door because yeah, I might mess up the door hinges, door frame, door in the long run. Unless you have like an insane strong door, like some security military grade door. But yeah, I mean, this should work. And literally all you want to do is just lean back. Bro. <laughs> wow this this makes your grip fatigue first actually to be honest since you know it's really so thick i have to wear the gloves for this all right, set two. You know this is incredible if you want to build up your, uh, your grip strength. I mean anything. If you just wrap like even a dumbbell or anything you lift with like a thick towel or a rag, I mean you're gonna increase your grip strength. Especially if you have a thumbless grip too, which I do sometimes with like the monkey bar exercises with the rows or pull ups, or dead hangs. Then uh yeah. I want to go lower to be honest. Wow. I didn't feel that was good. I might have to like switch up the hand placement to make sure we get a better contraction. My grip is fat fatiguing first, man. This is, I would say, the only con about this type of variation here. That's why having rings is very good. I might invest in some rings later on. Because I have, like, a tree in our backyard, so I could just hang it over a tree and do that. Obviously, you could hang from the tree or do whatever you want with the tree, but if it's so thick, it's going to just make your grip so fatiguing, which will probably um, go out first before your back muscles. Really, guys, there's no excuse. Like, anyone could literally do this. Everyone should have a strong, like, uh, fence or post in their house or whatever that they're able to, like, tie this or rings to even a tree where you can get a good back bicep workout. Forearms, bro. Really doesn't matter. <clears throat> Grip again was fatiguing first, but we felt that in our back. The first set we felt way better, so maybe 
maybe standing taller is the way we have to do right now. Forearms are going to be, our forearms are going to be literally blown up once we do these consistently. Maybe that's a bit of exaggeration. I mean, if you get a thinner bed sheet, I mean, this will work better so you don't fatigue your grip as much. But obviously it might rip. Like, this is a pretty strong bed sheet, so. Yeah, this is a very thick grip, bro. Wow. <clears throat> <clears throat> my grip guys oh my gosh no way oh, wow i'm just gonna do this like this No way. All right, let's do some rear delt rows. Hopefully, our grip doesn't fatigue there as much as that. All right. Honestly, if you do those inverted rows, you only have to do this because this is another horizontal rowing pattern. So it's a bit redundant. And guys, my low to mid back is still sore from from the day before. With our deadlifts. <sighs> oh, wow. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, we gotta mimic what that first set was for the rear delt or for the inverted rows. That was a good contraction we felt. <laughs> oh, wow let's go one more set we'll do underhand grip hit the biceps a bit obviously your biceps get work done either way because I'm, I'm gonna stray away from doing isolation work when it comes to hitting biceps obviously you could do it if you want to but if you're already doing compound movements that hits your back and biceps, doing isolations for for your bicep isn't really needed. It'll just, yeah, it's just junk volume in my opinion. So, you know what, guys, I'm a bit of a crack a crackhead, so <laughs> I want to do just one more set of these inverted rows. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, we, we just have to make sure our lower body doesn't help us come up. Hit our grip though. Then we we'll do some sets of bicep curls. I'm gonna do some push movements. <laughs> Alright, we're about 15 pounds in this backpack. <clears throat> the workout's gonna be extra long today. Just because we're trying to figure out the inverted rows and back movement. <clears throat> oh, 
seven. And the weather it's so bad. It's snowing literally all day today. So no park days anytime soon. Even though it's spring. <laughs> Seven. Wow. And since we are switching, I guess, now full body instead of doing the daily stuff. We technically we are doing daily workouts if you include the active recovery days slash pump workouts and also neck workouts too but yeah no i mean we can afford to go more intense since we have days in between to rest obviously have the whole entire weekend to rest i'll, I'll for sure have another pump pump day tomorrow though all right one or two more sets of that and we're done all right <sighs> <sighs> oh my gosh, eight reps. <sighs> Our biceps are done, guys. It's not it's not done, but yeah, I just want to overdo it. So that was around 15 pounds. I'll make sure to weigh it later to make sure it is. But yeah, it's around 10 pounds of water balls in there plus a five pound dumbbell. So yeah, basically around 15 pounds. Wow, though. Yeah, we haven't done those weighted curls in a while. And I felt more of a squeeze or contraction on the left side there because I was squeezing the bicep, which mind loss connection is very important, guys, for anything. Just helps you. Just connect to the muscle that which will lead to more strength and muscle gain. So yeah, we gotta make sure we practice that. But you know, if you're, it's all about practice and you know. Remember, guys, you aren't you aren't just working out for just months or a year. This is really a lifetime uh, journey. It's not just something you're gonna just do for only a certain amount of time. So you have plenty of time to practice, have fun, and all that. So. It's harder, man. I wonder plants just so hard. I'm not gonna lie, my grip is was giving out there due to the inverted row we just did earlier. I still felt that in my push muscles. Yeah. Alright, one one or two more sets of that. Alright, I put on the gloves to just help out with the grip a bit.
Sí. Wow. I feel like triceps good, man. All my set, man. Feel good in your biceps as well since you really just hit that. Getting a little bump now on the right side. Our right side was laggy when it came to our biceps since last year. Since we're recovering from the overuse injury, I was doing some bicep work with, with only my left side at first. So yeah, there's some muscle imbalancement there. All right, yeah, let's get into this last set now. All right, there's so many people sewing us our chest now. <laughs> Should we just do some knuckle push-ups? Should we actually do these? Oh my gosh, we can. Well, if we wear the gloves. Oh my. Yeah, I doubt we could do that without the gloves. Alright, let's go to failure. <laughs> Our triceps fatigue first. Our triceps are, I want to say it's the limiting factor, but. That's what failed. I mean, I still feel in my chest and shoulders, but wow. <clears throat> wow. It's way easier to do on the elevated surface. Alright, this is off of my dad's cup holder for the home theater couch right here. No way. Let's do some leg stuff. Alright, we're about 15 pounds in here. Same thing we used to curl. <sighs> Ooh, 15. We're 15 pounds. Alright, two more sets. Alright, we're not gonna use the weight. So we're able to do, I guess, more higher quality reps. Also, oh, more reps, too. I mean, we're already fatigued.
Wow. One more set, guys. Our quads are done. All right. Last set. Same thing as last as the last one. I took a very long break. We may get more than 15 reps here. No way. 18. We could have gone for 20, but... I mean, we could we could have. It's all good. Alright, do some calf raises. This is 15 pounds. That's what I used when I was a kid. The stool to reach the sink when I was too tiny, bro. Let's do one set of this. In calf raises, you could do single leg just throughout the day. I think that's more than enough. Especially if you walk a lot too. And you do other leg exercises. You're going to be hitting the calf. Good man. Oh my. Whew. All right, some single leg. Whew. Took like around a 30 second break. Five reps. Oh my gosh, guys, let's do a pump check now. I'm glad we just left it there at the second set. Wow. Oh 
Let's go. That's it for the video, man. If y'all did enjoy, be sure to like and also subscribe, guys. I'll catch y'all next video for our next workout. God bless. Take care and peace.